Well, we're going to go down to the barn and fix a cart. I got uh, a couple of carts at a yard sale and bought new tires for one of them. And I'm going to see how it works out. And if it works out good, then I'll uh, fix the other one up. I don't know what I'll use two of them for, but I got an idea for one of them, and I'll show you what it okay, is. Okay, the idea is for this sprayer, I was using it in my bucket and using it uh, with, the, you know, the sprayer handle and having to go from the bucket all the way back to the driver's seat was stretching the hose a little much and so I got this uh, cart it's heavier built but it's a little rougher shape it seems like and the tires are dry rotted bad you, the, they were inner tube filled and the inner tubes uh, the cores had came out of them and this one picked up it's really thin uh, I don't know how well it'll hold up it, yeah as you can see we've got a terrible moth problem around here moths that just eat holes out of everything but anyway this one's got a dump bed. That one's got a dump bed on it also, but it doesn't seem like it's going to operate as, as easy as this one. So I bought wheels at Harbor Freight that have these different size spacers that you can put in here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set this up and see how that goes. All right, this is the wheel I got. It's a little bit smaller which I don't think that's going to make a difference. And uh, they were at a good price at Harbor Freight, so that's what we're going to go with. It's, these tubeless tires seem like they kind of dry rot after the first year. And these are inner tube tires. And hope that they last more than a year or so. take these up. They don't have a grease fitting. I don't think they do. No, they don't have a grease fitting, so I'll have to try to grease these axles up once I get up to the get it up to the house. Carter key pins and I looked. So I'm going to try to save these. Come on, there we go. Okay, there's one down. Let's see. It comes with a plastic bushing. I think that that'll work pretty good. 
see if this wheel's going to turn. I believe it's going to work. Let's see. I gave you several size bushings to use on these things. Got a small burr right here on the edge of this. Let's see if I can take care of that with the pliers. Yes. And the washer. Well, wait a minute. Before I do that, I'm gonna put a flat washer up against it. And I'm gonna take these bushings off. Flat washer and the bushings. So, put our Carter key pin back in. Mm. Now, I have extra bushings. I don't know what I'll use them for, but never throw away hardware. Okay. Let's get around here, flip this over, and do the other side. Okay, I got both of them on, and it rolls pretty good, and you can see what my idea is going to be, and I got this little tow bar at the co-op, and had it on, and the one thing I didn't do was make sure that these little clip pins were going to stay in, because as soon as I rubbed up in, in the, some brush the other day while I was mowing, one of them came out and took me forever to find it. So I got an idea how to take care of that. As you can see, I've taken the twist ties, tightened them down after I crisscrossed them through. That way, hopefully nothing can grab a hold of that and pull it out again. Now, I'm gonna take this. I think I got a better connector than this thing right here. Let me check. Well, I do have a better one, and the Carter key goes in after you put this in there. I think it's going to be too small. Let me see if I can hold this camera so you guys can see. Nope, it'll fit. Okay. So, I'm going to do... Hook her in there like that. And since this is like that, I'm thinking I'm gonna get me a, uh, push that all the way through, can I? 
where they have it pushed all the way to. I'll have to get a pair of pliers or something. Hold on. I'd rather have it all the way through. Well, at least it's gonna go. Pull it through. <clears throat> that way it'd be a little harder to take it out. Now, I got my little setup right here. And on that power sprayer, when I'm going up and down these hills, the suction hose is on one side and when you go down a hill, all the water will go to the other end and that way you, you can't keep it uh, on the side that it needs to be on. And this way, I can put it in there and I can adjust with my Uh, shoot, I can't even think of the name of it now. But I can adjust it to keep it level whether I'm going uphill or downhill. And plus, I've got this to go in and keep it from falling out. Now I'm going to hit that with a little John Deere green paint and try to spruce it up a little bit but uh yeah it works pretty good i got a dump bed yeah there's one down and one to go i'll have to find some bigger wheels or something i was noticing the uh axle on this one here is a one inch bar and this steel is a lot thicker than what that thing is. That will make a really good yard cart. And that's my next project to fix it up. See how it goes. I don't know who made it or what, but it's a well-built. I think it's probably about, I guess, 20 years old or something. But they, they put... Uh, uh, floors in the bottom of it so i'm gonna try to fix this one up next well guys that's all i'm gonna do for today because it's gotten hot uh old country saying it's hotter than a two peckered owl i don't know how hot they get but uh, evidently it's pretty hot as you can tell i wore my boy amos out him watching me work on that He's come up here in the breezeway and laying in front of the fan. So uh, I think my next video will be me putting that sprayer in the back of that uh, cart and driving around seeing how easy it's going to operate. And then if it operates out pretty good for me, then I'll, I'll doll it up and try to make it look like something. But until then, I'm not going to... I'm not going to waste the money. Right now, I've only got, I think I gave $25 for the cart with flat wheels. I knew I can get tires and wheels for it. But uh, I think I'm uh, $40, I think $43 or something like that for the wheels and the new tires. So I'm into it less than what I'd be if I had to go out and buy a new one. I think I see them for like $300 or something like that. It operates good. All it needs is a little greasing and maintenance. So uh, if it pulls around fine and, you know, I don't get bind up trying to back up just a little bit or something, then uh, we'll, we'll doll it up on the next uh, video. You guys, uh, by the way, I want to thank all my new subscribers. I had no idea that I would get any subscribers at all or if anybody ever watched my channel. But, uh, you know, I, I occasionally got the uh, 
10, 20, sometimes 50 viewers. And the last video I put out on my John Deere, uh, I got over, I think the count's over 15,000 views on it now. And it surprised the crap out of me. And my subscribers went up from like 40 something to 93, the last count. So I've almost got 100 subscribers. I never would have thought it. You know, I, I do these videos for my future grandkids, so if I'm not around, they, they have some sort of idea who Grandpa was. That's my biggest reason for doing it. And, uh, man, y'all surprised me on that last video I put out, and I sure appreciate it. Uh, if you like my content, give me a like and a subscribe to my channel. I'm, I'm going to try to get better at this. It's kind of hard starting a new career, or not a career, but a new hobby, I guess, at 68 years old. So. <laughs> we'll see you guys, and you have a good day.